We can't forget world history. A godless Adolf Hitler destroyed millions and millions of lives. Chairman Mao in China. And even now today, the Chinese Communist Party. Frankly, there's no regime that rivals the horrors that are taking place in the world, the destruction of the central idea of human dignity than what the Chinese Communist Party is undertaking today in a place that many of us wouldn't know. It's in Western China, it's called Xinjiang. There are a million people being held in conditions that violate the most fundamental rights, the most basic dignities of those people. These people are held in internment camps, they're forced sterilizations, forced abortions. These are the kinds of horrors that haven't befallen civilization in decades and decades. I, I consider it to be truly the stain of this century, and it's part of the Chinese Communist Party war on faith. They want to drive faith out of their public square. I had a chance to travel to the Chinese border region and met with a family who had one of their family members held in one of these detention camps. Uh, she wrote me a note. The note said, uh, please pass this to the world. I'll read just a part of it. She wrote, beloved brothers and sisters, I earnestly ask for your prayers, for me and for my family. It's been six months since my husband was incarcerated in Xinjiang. At first he would make phone calls from prison to let me know that he's okay. Now the only hope I have remains in the Lord. I pray every day that he will be returned. These are the challenges that require us to keep faith in our public square here in America and every place we interact. It's what we're called to do as Christians, and I believe it is fundamentally what we are meant to be as Americans as well. Mayway,